The day of the battle dawned clear and bright, the sun beating down upon the field of combat. The armies of Lord Fairfax and Lord Blackburn stood facing each other, their ranks stretching out as far as the eye could see. At the head of each army stood the two lords, their armor glinting in the sunlight. The air was thick with tension as the two sides prepared for the fight to come. Lord Fairfax's army was composed of seasoned warriors, their armor well worn and their weapons well honed. Lord Blackburn's soldiers were younger and less experienced, but they were fierce and determined. As the two sides took their places on the field, the only sound was the clinking of armor and the occasional nervous shuffle of feet. The signal was given, and with a roar, the two armies clashed. Swords rang out against shields, and the ground shook with the force of the impact. The fighting was fierce and brutal, with neither side giving an inch. Lord Fairfax's men pushed forward, trying to break through Lord Blackburn's lines, while the younger lord's soldiers fought with all their might to hold their ground. As the sun started to sink towards the horizon, it seemed as though the battle might never end. But then, with a mighty cry, Lord Fairfax's men broke through the enemy ranks and charged towards Lord Blackburn. The younger lord, realizing that the battle was lost, sounded the retreat, and his soldiers turned and fled. The victory belonged to Lord Fairfax, and his men let out a triumphant cheer as they gathered up their wounded and counted their dead. It had been a hard-fought battle, but in the end, they had emerged victorious. And so, as the sun set on the field of combat, the war between the two lords came to an end, and the kingdom knew a time of peace once more.